Shut up and sit down. We're back. It's round 11 at uh, the Grand Prix of Lombardia at the Otto Viano uh, track. It was an okay track. Um, it's, it's one of those tracks, I think, that are just made out in a flat field uh, by tractors. Uh, no real elevation change other than the big uh, one big hill they have. Oh my god. So race one, yeah. I was trying to lead these guys. I tried to pass and I over jumped that one. Uh, so battling with uh, Covington here, I think. Or was that Olsen? I can't even remember. Trying to check down Jonas, I think. Gonna rail this outside berm. Nope. Okay, that was Olsen. Work my way back into third. And then I tucked the front again. I don't know what was up with that crash there. I eventually coming home fifth in race one. Not bad. That's a respectable uh, race one finish for me. <laughs> Usually I'm terrible at race one. Right back at the race two. See if I can improve. Right, we're getting the pool on him. Jonas cut him off. Send him into the bank, maybe. Full shot, baby. Yeah, so did you guys watch the uh, race at the Teutonthal in Germany this past weekend? Uh... 250s it was uh it was the Prado show again he pretty much whole shotted both races I think he has like in the season 14 whole shots 17 moto wins something like that crazy he is just dominating uh nobody's even close to him uh other than that the track was uh I guess they had watered it a lot um and and really uh really tilled it and so it developed a whole bunch of ruts. Uh, a lot of the guys, I mean, at least the comments I saw, you know, they didn't, they kind of had to tiptoe their way. They couldn't just go full bore. Uh, you saw a lot of guys crashing um, in the ruts, especially uh, these ruts were huge. And they also a lot of front ends washing out or, you know, just tipping over in the rut. Um, but yeah, and then Moto, uh, sorry, MXGP, uh, KTM, Factory KTM was not there. Both Hurlings and Cairoli hurt. Uh, Cairoli went out with a, uh, I think he had a dislocated shoulder at the last race and uh, he could not uh, partake in this week's race. And then Hurlings also from the last race, uh, if you guys remember, he crashed on the siding lap of race one. Uh, he was on the ground and then another rider came and accidentally hit him. He couldn't see him. Hit his bad foot that was broken already uh, during the beginning of the year. Uh, and so he ended up with a broken ankle, a fracture. Uh, he actually raced race one and, and won the race. Uh, but he was in too much pain after that. Uh, so he set out race two. So he is out again. Um, I'm not sure on the timeline for his recovery on that one. Uh, but anyway, so KTM not there. Oh my god. You see me just throw that. Oh man. That was a good crash. I kept the lead though. Oh no. Joan. Nope, that's Prado. Yeah, but uh, Tim Geiser again. Two hole shots and the race one he actually tipped over in a corner uh, I think he retained the lead uh, was able to stretch it out again uh, race two hole shot again uh, easy win for him there was a little bit of drama with one of the uh, with the Kawasaki team uh, I forget which one it was I don't know if it's a bud racing team yeah Jacoby uh, was making a move on his teammate Adam Sterry of Great Britain uh, he kind of dive bombed him in one corner. Uh, Sari kind of saw it coming. Uh, then right on the mechanics, uh, straight away, Jacoby got a run on him and just literally moved over on him to the left, 
Steri had nowhere to go. He drifted, you know, towards the edge. Um, they hit Steri's handlebars, actually got stuck on Jacoby's seat, dragged, you know, if you've ever done that on a bicycle or a motorcycle, uh, getting your handlebars caught on another bike, and it kind of just, uh, Steri went to the ground. He uh, got up off the ground. He kind of looked back. You could tell he was looking back at his, uh, the team, I think, in the mechanics area, the team area, like what the hell was up. Um, after the race, uh, Steri pulled up to Jacoby at the at the at the finish line where he was. Uh, oh no! I just went down and uh, I was doing so good. Back to Jacoby. Yeah. So Steri come up was probably asking, "What the hell, guy? You know, what what are you doing? We're teammates." Uh, they had some words and I'm not sure if it was exactly then, but I, after the race for sure, uh, I think more words are had and supposedly Jacoby punched his teammate Steri. Um, so yet to be seen what's going to be the ramifications of that. If, uh, the team will find him or, or do something. But, uh, another interesting thing is, uh, Jacoby and Steri actually are uh, roommates in their apartment. Um, so must be an interesting week uh, <laughs> back at the apartment. Let me know what you guys think of that. I, it's kind of funny, but I think Jacoby, I mean, it's Jacoby's home race in Germany there, but he, why he took out his teammate, I don't know. Um, he didn't really need to do that on a teammate, I don't think. I know these guys take each other out, you know, uh, Cooper Webb taking Marvin off the track, but I think... Uh, he was reprimanded, I'm pretty sure, by Roger DeCoster and the team, and uh, he, he kind of gave an apology after that. Uh, Jacoby also issued an apology on Twitter, uh, saying he, sh he should be a role model for young children. Uh, so kind of funny. All right, let's track Prado down. I was always afraid I was going to over... Oh, my God. I was afraid I was going to overjump that. Then I went off the side. Then I crash. Ah... Uh, Second place. I need to just hold that. Three to go. Like I mentioned in race one highlights, this track it it was okay. Uh, I did I did crash quite a few times. Uh, some weird, you know, just tuck in the front someplace. Uh, the track itself kind of boring. Really similar to maybe the Indonesian one of the Indonesian rounds, where it's just a man-made track out in the field with seemed like sand. Uh, Nice thing I was able able to compete. The previous round at Teutschental had a really hard time. And like Erne, that track I could not do good at all. But this track suits my style a little more, I guess. Didn't have a lot of problems with the rear end washing out. Uh, just those front end tucks. Back now in Prado. Yeah, but not a lot of obstacles on this track. It's uh, a lot of these straightaways and these 180 turns. corner here you either got to catch that inside rut or go to the way outside try to rail that berm right there this portion with these rollers right here was not very fun uh, especially in this this corner up here bike would be lugging and you had to be careful because I did wreck a couple times in practice at trying to make that turn and, and giving a little too much gas Final lap, see if I can track him down. I don't think I can. A little too fast. I wasn't faster than these guys in a lot of places. Uh, this little section right here, I was faster, but then from this straightaway on, they're pretty much, we were pretty much even. I am 
making up a little bit of time, it looks like. Still not close enough to... Figured I started doing a scrub on that uh, because I would jump too far and, uh, you know, and crash. So if you scrub it, I think it keeps you a little lower and it, it won't make you crash as much, I think. Man, I am making up time on him. Oh. Gun it. Oh. I, I don't think I'm going to do it. Can I get him on this last corner? Uh, Can I do it? Second place. Prado got me. That was a good race, though. Oh, the man. The expectations for race one have been met, as the race was full of surprises from the very start. Man. Let's see what happened to the rankings at the end of race two. 0.165 seconds behind. Man, look at Sunny Eye. Dude, we're both Americans, and you're uh, you're giving me the bad stuff. Uh, he's saying I'll never be like Jonas. Dude, you're not that good. That's why you left the AMA. Couldn't get a ride, I guess. Third overall, right on. I would have just done a little bit better in that first moto, first race. Uh, oh, well. Made the podium. That's what what's it, what counts. Third place for him. He kept pace. The first the time first I remember seeing the podium, the podium celebration. I don't even know much. if I've gotten on the podium yet. But I thought he did in Argentina. I got a one two. Okay, I moved up to seventh. I think. Uh, man, I'm still a little bit ways off of sixth. Man, the championship looks like it's over though. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that subscribe button for me. Leave me some thumbs up and uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought and I'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks a lot.